Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ila and today I want to talk to you about something interesting. Uh, I promise you in my last video that today we are going to talk about the solutions of problems in marriages but I forgot to mention something very important, another important problem so that's why we are not going to talk about solutions and we'll keep it for the next video. So today we are going to talk about sex. That's right, about sex and I said it's another problem. Sex is a very important part of any healthy relationships and sex may cause problems or sex may solve problems. But as you know, you are not allowed to have sex before the marriage in my culture and there is no sex education at all and you are not allowed to watch a porn obviously and the only source of information which is very important is probably your sister or your cousin who just got married and they want to share something new with you well and i know that there are lots of girls who don't know anything about sex until that time comes well i want to share with you my experience about how i found out about sex for the first time so we're gonna travel in time back to days when i lived in russia and i was about 10 11 ish i remember one day my classmate told our girls from our class there were just six of us that she wants to show us something very interesting so we went to her place after school and she was standing near the TV and DVD holding a cassette in her hand. So if you're from my time, you know what is DVD and you know what is cassette. So, and it was Shrek and she played the cassette for 20, 30 seconds and it wasn't Shrek. It was a porn. And it was the first time when I saw a naked man and a naked woman together. And I didn't understand what I just watched, but I remember I felt very warm and nice down there. So, yeah, and I asked her what the heck, and she said, it's what adults do to have kids. And I said, you're lying. I don't believe you. My parents found me in the cabbage. How your parents found you, by the way, in the cabbage, they bought you in the market or a special bird delivered you to their door? Let me know in comments below. Well, I didn't want to believe her because I haven't seen my parents even hugging in front of us. I'm not talking about kissing or anything like that. Yes, so that was a shock information for me. Well, back to Shrek. Do you think that 20-30 seconds of video gave me enough information about sex? Exactly, it didn't. I just saw a naked man and woman in, on top of each other doing something and I just found out that we call that process sex. And for the next 5-6 years, I thought that there is only one type of sex, anal sex. I mean. Come on, where else he could put his dick in? There's no other hole, no other natural holes. Okay, well, now I know, but that time I didn't know, and imagine my face when I found out that anal sex is optional, and their main sex, what usually people practice, is vaginal sex. I was like, what? But there is no hole, how does it, goes in well he makes a hole in there well it sounds terrible isn't it painful i ask it is painful and you bleed a lot and it proves that you are virgin well in fact it didn't hurt at all and i didn't bleed much like almost nothing well it was my experience because uh, we all are different and our bodies are different and, and what you felt having your first sex isn't necessarily what I will feel. That's why we need to have sex education. It's super important. Okay, enough of me. There are 
lots of other girls who have their first sex experience in different way. In many cases, they don't even know their husband well enough and they don't have the chemistry between them, they don't have that connection and the sex is so awkward, I guess. But they have to do that because it's their marriage duty. But I don't want to think that people from my culture are heartless creatures. No, 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 no. They give you three days to have your first sex after the marriage. Three days, no rush, take your time. Those three days for you to build chemistry, connection, to get to know each other better if you need it and make the process less awkward. Three days, ridiculous. Okay, you may say, what's the difference between having sex with your boyfriend before the marriage and having sex with your husband who is legally your husband in love. What's the difference? Oh well, there's a fucking big difference guys. As I mentioned, the person who you married, you probably don't know well enough because it wasn't your decision, it wasn't your choice, it was your parents choice. And the boyfriend, you know him. First of all, before he became your boyfriend, you were dating. Guys, you were dating. You had a long process knowing each other and after that you decided okay he can be my boyfriend i let it happen and then after officially being boyfriend and girlfriend and dating for a while you may have sex and it's mutually your decision you both want to have it and you know what even if you don't want to have sex you don't have to do that i know people who may date for years and wait uh, until marriage and have their sex after marriage. That's absolutely normal. That's cool So another difference is that you probably like or even love your boyfriend because it was your decision Not your parents decision and the chemistry and connection and love between you two make that process Natural you don't feel awkward having sex with the person who you love feel the difference and if you feel that he is not your person, you didn't connect, you didn't match, and I mean sexually, which is very important, you guys can end those relationships and start a new one. Or you may talk, which is very important part of any healthy relationships again. You can share what you like and what you don't like, what you are open to try, what you are not ready to try at all. Communication is a key for everything. But for some reason, people are shy or don't feel okay to talk about sex with their partner. And I don't know why, it's, it's all right. I feel, I, I feel absolutely okay talking about that because it's something natural. At the end of the day, we all have sex. I mean, come on, your partner cannot read your mind, right? So you need to talk, guys. You need to tell what you like and what you don't like instead of imitating orgasm, which is awful. Never ever imitate orgasm, okay? Capish. I mean, sex is a very beautiful thing and you need to enjoy it. You need to enjoy the process. It should bring joy to your relationship. It should make your relationship stronger. It's not something what you have to do because it's your marriage duty. That's ridiculous. So, am I saying that you have to have sex before marriage? No guys, I'm not saying anything like that. I'm saying it's up to you, okay? And I want to mention three important things about that, okay? First of all, we must have sex education. Doesn't matter what is your religion, culture, country, doesn't matter. We all must have sex education. Second of all, we should be allowed to date and have dating experience because when you are dating you get to know not just the person who you are dating but also yourself which is very important to have that experience okay and third of all in my head in my ideal world you shouldn't have sex before 18 like I mean before 18 you should have sex education uh, dating experience basically theory and after 18 you are welcome to practice it 
as often as you want to, if you want to. But I think before 18, it should be legal. Honestly, it's my personal opinion. Okay guys, you may ask Ila, why are you talking about all these things and saying that sex is a problem? Actually guys, sex isn't a problem, people are a problem, okay? People are a problem. And let me tell you why I, I started talking about it and mentioned that sex is a problem. Uh, if you watch my latest video, you know that I mentioned two main problems in marriages in my culture and one of them is your husband. So imagine a woman who has a psycho husband and he doesn't respect her, he may beat her and you know, all these things, um, toxic marriage and imagine that woman having sex with him again after all those things he's done to her just because he is her husband, because it's her marriage duty. Would you have sex with a person who hates you and beats you every day? Like, can you imagine that? And I think if she doesn't want to, if she refuses to have sex with him, either he will have it forcing, you know, raping her, which we can't call rape because he is her husband, or he will go and cheat on her with somebody else, which is another problem. Well, you may say that there is clearly one solution for all these problems and I will talk about it in the next video about the solution of that kind of problems. I promise next time definitely we'll talk about it. And so far, thank you for watching. I really appreciate your support. Um, please comment, share, like and I will see you next time. Bye! Enjoy your sex.